Hello Year 2, Mrs Hamilton here, hope you're keeping well and safe. So this is our final lesson in two code um, before half term. So let's see if we can remind ourselves of some of the vocab um, and look at some new vocab as well. So let's have a little look, we've got here collision detection. Now I know some of you have already figured this one out because you've used it in your previous work. So this is where in two code, this measures whether two object, objects have touched each other. And we can use this to make objects disappear or make a sound. Um, so we might be able to use that in some of our coding today. Let's have a look at some more vocab. So we've got timer. Okay, this is where the timer will run a block of commands after a timed delay or during regular intervals. And again, we can have a little look at this one today in action. So we've got got the when clicked okay this is when uh, um, when clicked is an event command and it makes the code run when you click on something so it'll be an object um, once you click on it with your cursor it makes um, an action either a movement or a sound you've got the when key so this is also an event command and it makes the code run when you press a specified key on the keyboard and the when swiped, so when swiped is an event command again, and it makes the code run when you swipe in the specified direction. So the other vocab that we've got is input. An input is the information going into the computer, so that's our codes. Um, and this can be either um, by clicking on the mouse or entering a character, so a key on the keyboard um, to make something um, run, make something happen. And the output is the information that comes out of the computer. For example, sound. So debug, this is a new word for us for today. So when you debug a program, you look for any bugs, so any problems, any errors in the code, and try to fix them. Okay, and that's what we have been doing and we are going to have a look at today. So debugging. That's when you try to fix any problems in the computer. So you might need to debug and find the problem. And debugging is where you fix that um, problem in your program. Who can remember algorithm? Who can remember what the um, description, what the, uh, the, the meaning of this word? Algorithm. This is one that we've looked at every single week. So algorithm, that's where it's a precise step-by-step -step set of instructions that we use to solve a problem or achieve an objective. Okay, so we have to look at the instructions, look at the codes that we've got in our work and see if it's correct for achieving the objective, be it a moving object uh, or to make a sound. So we're looking at our algorithms is our set of instructions. So we're going to create a program today. And what I need you to think about is what is the program supposed to do? What do you want to happen in the program? OK, that's the first thing you need to think about. OK, we'll come back to this. The second is, is there a problem? What is the problem? Once you've put all your codes in, OK, is it actually running the way that you want to? OK, or is there a problem? OK. And what do I need to change in the code to fix it? So, for example, here we've got when clicked red bubble, blue bubble hides. When clicked pink bubble, green bubble hides. When clicked green bubble, red bubble hides. And when clicked blue bubble, pink bubble hides. Okay. Now, there's some errors. Okay. There's some bugs in this programming. And those bugs are that it should read when clicked red bubble red bubble hides so we would debug it by clicking on this um, code here and changing that to read red bubble okay so we would debug in the program so i need you to think about what do you need to do what do you need to change to fix the code to make it run as you want to okay and all this will become clear okay think about what you want to achieve and what isn't running right what isn't correct and you need to change to fix it so then we run it, okay, we're using our green arrow at the top of our screen in purple mash and look and see 
Does it work now? Is it running correctly? So let's have a look at this. We've changed this and it says when clicked red bubble, red bubble hide. That looks correct. When clicked pink bubble, pink bubble hide. Does that look correct? Does that make sense, that coding? When clicked green bubble, green bubble hide. That looks right. And when clicked blue, blue, blue bubble, blue bubble hide. So that also sounds correct. So we have fixed the program and it should run correctly now. Okay. Think about it logically. Does it work? So if it doesn't do what you want it to do, what it's supposed to do, so what have you done wrong and how can you fix that? Okay, so think about what you want it to do. If it does it, great. If it doesn't do it, what doesn't read correctly to allow it to happen? Okay, look at what it's meant to say and double check on that and see where you're going or it's not quite correct where, where you've gone wrong and go back and try and fix it because that's the beauty of, of coding. You can change the code, you can move them around, you can alter them just slightly and see if that works and if it does, great, and if it doesn't, you can always go back and just alter a little bit. Okay, so let's go and explore to code, okay, the free code chip and let's see if we can create our own program. Right then, so we've got to our um, Purple Mash page. Your name goes in the top box, and then your password goes in the second box, and then you click Login. Okay, and you guys, you'll have your to-dos. So if you click on your to-dos, and there are a lot of them, scroll down, and what I want you to go into is the free code chimp. The to do the free code chimp, it's the to do that's set by me for you. So let's have a little preview. So in this, okay, you can make your own computer program using two code, okay, drag in all the codes from this left hand side here into this box here to, to make happen whatever you choose, okay. So I'm going to show you one that I have created, thinking about the pirate theme, okay, so any that you have saved, if you click on this purple rectangle and you click open, so this looks a little bit confusing. So I'm going to run it through with you. I'm going to read it through with you. So I've got I've got a when key and I've got a when clicked. Okay, I've used um, a timer. Okay, and I've used some speech as well. So if you have a little look, we've got when key. So when I touch the A key, okay, on my um, laptop, the bird is going to speak pretty bolly, pretty bolly for three seconds. Okay, and then when I click on the bird, it's going to move, right? So it says when clicked, my um, sprite two, my sprite two is going to go right. Okay, and then after six seconds, it's going to stop. And then when my my sprite collides with um, another object it's going the bird is going to speak pieces of eight for three seconds now to create all of these different objects here okay and the background you go into the design mode in this top right hand corner like we have done previously and if you click on there okay you'll see that i've chosen a pirate and a parrot and a treasure chest and i've chosen a background so to do all of that, you've got the characters here. If you click on the character and drag it across, okay, you can choose a different character. Okay, it gives you, first of all, the um, pirate. But if you click on here, I don't know, I think it's on the image. If you click on the, it is on the laser. If you click on the image, it comes up with a different one. So you can choose whichever one you would like to choose, okay? And then, if say if you click on that one, it appears and it changes to the character. You can make the character bigger, smaller, okay, whatever you choose. If you suddenly decide, actually, I don't want that one, you can scroll it over to the bin over here. Okay, so I'm going to keep with the characters that I've chosen. So I've got um, a pirate and a parrot and a treasure chest. Now, the background, if you click on the screen here, you get to choose the background and the variety of different backgrounds that you will be um, familiar with. 
Okay, and you can choose whichever one you want. See, I've chosen the um, pirate ship one because I've done mine with pirates. But if you would like to do um, one slight different, you could always have a pirate with the Statue of Liberty. Take your pick, but I've chosen the um, pirate ship. So to come out of this, you click Exit. Oh, must remember, you put your characters where you would like them on the background before you exit the design mode. So I've put mine where I want mine to be. And then you click on the exit design. Okay, so I have chosen all my coding. I've dragged it all across as I um, have shown you previously. Okay, let's have a look at playing the codes. So it says when key A, my parrot's going to speak. So I have to click the A. Okay, so trust me when I do it, you will see it will speak. There it goes. It says pretty Polly, pretty Polly for three seconds and disappears. Now, this set of coding won't run until I click on the parrot. Okay, so when I click the parrot, off it goes. Now, I want it to land on the treasure chest. Hmm. <laughs> now, that's not quite worked, has it, guys? Okay, so my code needs debugging. My codes need fixing. Okay, how might I do that? Let's come out of this and see. So what could I do here? I've got when clicked my sprite 2. My sprite 2 goes right, and that's correct. I want it to go in that direction. And then after 6 seconds, it's going to stop. Okay, so I could... Um, change the amount of seconds that um, I let it run for before it stops. So maybe if I make that number smaller, okay, and change it to five, let's see if that helps. Press play. So when I click the A button, it says Pretty Polly. And then I'm going to click on my parrot. And let's see if five seconds works. It's okay, but could it be better? Could I debug it to make it even better? What do you think? I think so too. I think if I change that number just by one more second and make it a little bit shorter, I think that might work better. So I'm debugging my coding to make it run even better. So let's press play again and let's see if it works. So I press my A key. And it says pretty Polly, pretty Polly. And then I click on the parrot. Brilliant. Now it's landed where I want to do it in the same pieces of eight. Now, so I've kept my program quite simple. Okay. And I've debugged it to make it work. Now, once you're happy with it, okay, if you remember, we go up to this purple rectangle at the top here. Okay. And we can click save. OK, and I've called mine KH, I've given it my initials, and 2021, and I save it. And I'm going to overwrite mine, because obviously I want it to be correct now, because I've debugged my program, and I click OK. And that's it. So your challenge for this week is to see if you can create your own um, program, OK? See if you can debug it to get it to run correctly, OK? If you've got any problems with it, just message me on Purple Mash and I'll be able to help you where I can. I look forward to seeing what fab creations you make this week. Good luck, guys.